Good afternoon. This is All India Radio. I am Valsa Williams and with me is Saira Mujtaba with the Midday News. The headlines. Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia urges pharma industries to focus on manufacturing of quality medicines and increase their accessibility in world market. Pharma and Industry Minister Piyush Goel says one district one product program is aligned to the vision of a holistic coverage of entire nation being participants and beneficiaries of development telecom and it minister shuni vaishnav says government is likely to introduce data protection bill in budget session of parliament delhi chief minister arvin kejriwal tables confidence motion on the second day of assembly special session BJP alleges that Delhi Chief Minister took no action on CVC inquiry report on construction of classrooms in government schools. Heavy rains lashed different parts of the country. Kerala reports loss of lives. IMD issues orange alert for different districts in Uttarakhand. NASA is counting down to the lift off of its giant new moon rocket Artemis 1. Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry is organizing Meet the Champions initiative in 26 schools across the country on the occasion of National Sports Day. US Open tennis the fourth and final Grand Slam of the year to kick off in New York today. Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia has urged the pharma industries to focus on manufacturing of quality medicines and increase their accessibility in the world market. addressing the silver jubilee celebrations of the national pharmaceutical pricing authority nppa in new delhi today dr mandavia said the country's reputation has increased in the world for providing quality medicine he stressed on the need to focus on research to strengthen the pharma sector innovation ko kaise mahatva dena research ko kaise mahatva dena common facility taiyar ho aur industries ko support mile ऐसा एटमोस्फेयर कैसे तैयार करना हम फार्मेसी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड है हम फार्मा सेक्टर में अनुभवी लोग हैं। फार्मा सेक्टर में हमारा अनुभव को हम थोड़ा सा स्ट्रेंथन करें तो हम दुनिया में बहुत कुछ दे सकते हैं दुनिया की सेवा कर सकते हैं Dr Mandavia said the Narendra Modi government is not only pro poor and pro pharma but also industry friendly the minister said the global trust earned by the Indian healthcare sector has led to the nation being called the pharmacy of the world and the export of pharmaceutical products has also increased he said more than 8500 jan aushadhi kendras are functional in the country to provide quality medicines at an affordable price On the occasion Dr Mandavia also launched integrated pharmaceutical database management system 2.0 to provide a single window for submissions of various forms as mandated under drug price control order 2013 it will enable paperless functioning of NPPA and facilitate the stakeholders to connect with national pharma pricing regulator from across the country the minister also launched pharma sahi dam 2.0 app which will show the maximum retail price fixed by NPPA for various scheduled drugs on real time basis Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel has said that one district one product program ODOP is aligned to the vision of a holistic coverage of the entire nation being participants and beneficiaries of development launching the ODOP gift catalog and storefront on government e-marketplace in New Delhi Mr Goel said every district in the country has the potential that can equal that of entire countries around the world he said the success of Uttar Pradesh with the one district one product program will help other states understand its immense potential today across the 75 districts of Uttar Pradesh the one district one product concept and plan is visible on the ground people are aware of it and uh, i think the success of uttar pradesh will only help the rest of us understand the potential of real india the old traditional heritage that we have all inherited it has huge potential the minister said with a consistent articulation from minister narendra modi has made odop a national movement he said for many decades fruits of development were confined to certain set of people regions or states he said mr modi had said that india cannot develop unless remotest areas become equal stakeholders in growth mr goel has urged to take the pledge 
that the first 12 months of Amrit Kaal will be dedicated to ensuring that one district one product items are the preferred choice for gifting he stressed on the need to work towards ensuring that our products get the geographical indication tag Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry is organizing Meet the Champions initiative in 26 schools across the country on the occasion of National Sports Day today. Few of the prominent athletes who are part of this initiative are Commonwealth Games and World Championships gold medalist Nikhat Zareen, Paralympics and CWG medalist Bhavana Patel, Tokyo Olympics and CWG medalist Manpreet Singh among others. Talking to AIR News Sports Secretary Sujata Chaturvedi said that Meet the Champions is a unique school visit campaign that has been started to create awareness about sports among children. आज हम लोग भारत के ऐतिहासिक हॉकी प्लेयर मेजर ध्यानचंद के उपलक्ष में राष्ट्रीय खेल दिवस नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे मना रहे हैं इस अवसर पर पूरे देश में स्पोर्ट्स का आयोजन किया जा रहा है भारत सरकार ने सभी राज्य सरकारों से अनुरोध किया है कि वे भी इस खेल दिवस मनाकर खेलकूद को सेलिब्रेट करें हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री श्री नरेंद्र मोदी की अगुवाई में हम लोगों ने एक मीट द चैंपियंस कार्यक्रम विगत वर्ष शुरू किया था उसमें जो ओलंपिक खिलाड़ी है उनको पचहत्तर स्थानों पर स्कूली बच्चों से कर खेल में उत्कृष्ट प्रदर्शन और न्यूट्रिशन के विषय में जानकारी देने के लिए अभी तक 29 ऐसे चैंपियंस के कार्यक्रम हो चुके हैं और आज मुझे खुशी है कि नेशनल स्पोर्ट्स डे के अवसर पर 26 स्थानों पर पूरे देश भर में फैले हुए स्कूलों में आज हमारे चैंपियंस जाकर बच्चों को प्रेरित और उत्साहित करेंगे स्पोर्ट्स डे के अवसर आरोप मैं सभी को हार्दिक बधाई देती हूँ और अनुरोध करती हूँ की स्पोर्ट्स को फिटनेस को अपने जीवन का अभिन्न हिस्सा जरूर बनाए In the evening, Youth Affairs and Sports Minister Anurag Thakur, along with Education Minister Dharmendra Pradhan, will also have a special virtual interaction with a few sports and fit India fitness icons of the country. In his Man Ki Baat program, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said, "Real tribute to Major Dhyan Chand will be the excellence of young Indian sports persons in different fields." 29 August, Major Dhyan Chand ji ki jnm jayanti par Rashtriya Khel Divas bhi manaya jayega. हमारे युवा खिलाड़ी वैश्विक मंचों पर हमारे तिरंगे की शान बढ़ाते रहे यही हमारी ध्यानचंद जी के प्रति श्रद्धांजलि होगी मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्टेट फॉर स्पोर्ट्स निशित प्रमाणिक टुडे पे ट्रिब्यूट टू हॉकी विजेट मेजर ध्यानचंद ऑन इज बर्थ एनिवर्सरी मिस्टर प्रमाणिक अलॉन्ग विद स्पोर्ट्स सेक्रेटरी सुजाता चतुर्वेदी एंड अदर्स पेड फ्लॉवर ट्रिब्यूट टू मेजर ध्यानचंद एट ए स्टैच्यू एट द नेशनल स्टेडियम इन डेली Mr Pramanik thanked everyone who has dedicated their life towards the upliftment of sports in India. He called upon everyone to work together to make India a sporting nation. Later speaking to media, the minister said, "We saw Olympics, Paralympics among several others where our sports persons excelled." Mr Pramanik said, "Sports should be celebrated and the ministry is celebrating this day in over 250 sports authority of India centers like a festival." पहली बार ऐसा हो रहा है कि पूरा देश में हर एक क्षेत्र में चाहे उत्तर हो या दक्षिण पूर्व हो या पश्चिम 250 से भी ज्यादा हमारे चाहे वो खेलो इंडिया एसटीसी सेंटर हो या फिर एनसीओई हो सभी जो सेंटर है वहां पर खेल उत्सव की तरह इसको फेस्टिवल की तरह मनाए जा रहे हैं और देश की 25 स्कूल पर पच्चीस एलिट एथलीट पहली बार स्कूल की जो खिलाड़ी है जो शिक्षार्थी है उन लोगों के साथ भी आज के दिवस जो है खेल दिवस ये मनाए जा रहे हैं Telecom and IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav has said that data protection bill is likely to be presented in the budget session of parliament in an interview to a newspaper he said the draft of the revised data protection bill will be released for consultation soon Mr Vaishnav stressed that the country's data protection framework should be in tune with the modern times and not look like an attempt to create a paper system for a digital world The government earlier this month which drew the personal data protection bill 2019 in the Lok Sabha saying that it will come up with a fresh bill that fits into the comprehensive legal framework with reference to the suggestions made by the joint committee of parliament on the bill The BJP today alleged corruption by the Arvind Kejriwal government in the new classrooms constructed in the city Briefing reporters in New Delhi party spokesperson Gaurav Bhatia said 50 to 90% height construction cost of classrooms was shown overlooking provisions of CPWD manual he alleged that it was intended to give tender to the selected contractors mr bhatia also alleged that delhi chief minister mr kejriwal took no action on the cbc inquiry report on the construction of classrooms in government schools he questioned why no tender was floated for the construction of classrooms 
He said the chief minister is answerable to taxpayers for alleged corruption in the construction. CVC ki jo vivechana kari usne aur jo tatya samne aaye sabse pehle jo tender ki value thi usko badhate hue jahan 90 pratishat tak kai jagah bada diya gaya aur specifications mein general baatein likhte hue kaha gaya ki is wajah se hum cost bada rahe hain lekin is report ke तहत 326 करोड़ रुपए कॉस्ट एस्केलेशन हुआ ये जो टेंडर का अमाउंट है उससे करीब 53 प्रतिशत ज्यादा था डेली बीजेपी चीफ आदेश गुप्ता सेड मिस्टर केजरीवाल आर्बिट्रेरीली अपॉइंटेड एन आर्किटेक्ट अ कंसल्टेंट क्लोज टू जेल्ड मिनिस्टर सतेंद्र जैन विदाउट फ्लोटिंग अ टेंडर ही डिमांडेड अ प्रूव इन द मैटर Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has refuted the allegations by the BJP about the alleged irregularities in the classrooms constructed in the national capital. Speaking after tabling the motion of confidence on the second day of the special session of Delhi Assembly, he said BJP's charges are far away from the truth. Mr. Kejriwal said that earlier BJP was targeting AAP government for the excise policy where they got nothing and now they have come up with new allegations. Former Congress leader Ghulam Nabi Azad has continued his attack on the Congress leadership saying he was forced to leave the party. Mr. Azad resigned from the party recently, accusing Congress leader Rahul Gandhi of demolishing the party's consultative mechanism. Talking to reporters in New Delhi today, he said the Congress had an issue with him since they wrote a letter to the party leadership as they never wanted anyone to question them. He said several Congress meetings happened but not even a single suggestion of his was taken. You're listening to the Midday News on All India Radio. A reminder of the headlines before we move on. Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia urges pharma industries to focus on manufacturing of quality medicines and increase their accessibility in world market. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goel says, One district, one product program is aligned to the vision of a holistic coverage of entire nation being participants and beneficiaries of development. Telecom and IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav says government is likely to introduce data protection bill in the budget session of parliament. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal tables confidence motion on the second day of assembly special session. BJP alleges that Delhi Chief Minister took no action on CVC inquiry report on the construction of classrooms in government schools. Heavy rains lashed different parts of the country. Kerala reports loss of lives. IMD issues orange alert for different districts in Uttarakhand. NASA is counting down to the liftoff of its giant new moon rocket Artemis 1. Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry is organizing Meet the Champions Initiative in 26 schools across the country on the occasion of National Sports Day. In US Open Tennis, the fourth and final Grand Slam of the year to kick off in New York today. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alert. <laughs> और हमारे विशाल देश पर राज करने का सपने देख रहे हैं और हम इनके सपने को चकना चूर कर देंगे निकल पड़े स्वाधीनता के मत वाले स्वतंत्रता संग्राम की सुनी अनसुनी कहानियों के साथ स्वराज हर रविवार रात 9 बजे डीडी नेशनल पर Welcome back to the Midday News. Over 211 crore 91 lakh vaccine doses have been administered so far under the nationwide vaccination drive. Over 24 lakh 70 thousand doses were administered in the last 24 hours. The recovery rate is currently at 98.62%. Nearly 9,000 recovered in the last 24 hours. Over 7,000 new cases were recorded in the same period. India's active caseload currently stands at 84,931. Daily positivity rate is at 4.58% and weekly positivity rate is at 2.69%. In Rajasthan, Rajiv Gandhi Rural Olympic Games have started in more than 11,000 panchayats this morning. Chief Minister Ashok Gehlot inaugurated the Games at the state-level function organized at Pal Panchayat of Looney Block in Jodhpur district. About 2,25,000 teams are participating in these Games, in which about 30 lakh players are showcasing their talent. The state government claims that the Rural Olympics is one of the biggest sporting events in the world. More from our correspondent. 
अंडर द रूरल ओलंपिक सिक्स स्पोर्ट्स कबड्डी शूटिंग बॉल वॉलीबॉल हॉकी खो खो एंड टेनिस बॉल क्रिकेट आर बीइंग प्लेड दीज गेम्स आर फर्स्ट बीइंग ऑर्गेनाइज्ड एट ग्राम पंचायत लेवल आफ्टर दैट देयर विल बी कॉम्पिटिशन एट ब्लॉक डिस्ट्रिक्ट एंड स्टेट लेवल मोर देन ट्वेंटी लैक मेल एंड अबाउट वन मिलियन फीमेल्स आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दीज गेम्स द स्पेशल फीचर ऑफ दीज गेम्स इज दैट मोर देन वन लैक पार्टिसिपेंट आर अबोव फिफ्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एज एट द सेम टाइम मोर देन वन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड प्लेयर्स आर अबोव सेवेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस इवेंट इज टू क्रिएट एन एनवायरमेंट ऑफ स्पोर्ट्स इन द विलेजेज जितेंद्र द्विवेदी ए आई आर न्यूज जयपुर In Kerala, five members of a rubber tapper's family were killed when a landslide struck at Kudayattur near Todupura in Idukki district following extremely heavy rain early this morning. The Idukki district collector said four families have been shifted to a relief camp nearby. State Revenue Minister K Rajan also visited the spot. Besides Idukki, extremely heavy rains were reported in the districts of Pattanamthitta and Kottayam where many low-lying areas were inundated. In Pattanamthitta, Water entered several shops damaging huge quantities of stocks stored for the Onam festival. Water entered many homes at some places in Nedumkurnam in Kottayam where heavy rains were reported since last evening. IMD issued an orange alert predicting heavy rainfall in Dehradun, Tehri, Nainital, Champavat, Bageshwar and yellow alert for rain in Haridwar, Pauri, Udham Singh Nagar, Pithoragarh today. Heavy rain continues in the capital there as on since last night the rivers and streams are in spate due to incessant rains on the other hand normal life has been affected due to the rain since yesterday in the mountainous region several roads have been blocked in bageshwar due to heavy rains and landslides The Allahabad High Court today directed the District Court of Mathura to complete the hearing on the petition in 4 months which is related to the scientific survey of Shahi Eidgah Masjid at Krishna Janmabhoomi The High Court today directed the District Court of Mathura to take the decision within 4 months on the petition which was filed by Manish Yadav who is also Vaad Mitra or heir friend in the Shri Krishna Janmabhoomi Shahi Eidgah case. The petition filed in the District Court of Mathura last year has demanded to appoint a court commissioner also for the scientific survey of the disputed land. Petitioner Manish Yadav approached the High Court recently and requested to intervene and expedite the hearing on this petition filed in the Mathura District Court. The Assam police arrested two persons for their alleged link with jihadi activities at Barpeta district. Police sources said both of them were arrested last night from Shorbog area at Barpeta district. Both of them are working for Terra Outfit and Sarul Wanga team. Police also recovered incriminating documents from them. One of them was also working as a teacher in a private madrasa. Following the arrest, Barpeta district administration has demolished an illegally constructed madrasa in the district. Our correspondent reports at least 15 people have been arrested so far at Barpeta district for their alleged involvement in jihadi activities. Over the past 75 years since independence, India's largest public service broadcaster All India Radio has been the proverbial storyteller for the 1.3 billion citizens across the country. All India Radio is celebrating 75 years of freedom with a series Azad Bharat ki baat Aakashvani ke saath. It showcases the journey of India since independence in various walks of life through the storytelling of All India Radio. आजाद भारत की बात आकाशवाणी के साथ रीलिविंग द जर्नी ऑफ इंडिया सिंस इंडिपेंडेंस ओवर द लास्ट 75 फाइव ईयर्स विद ऑल इंडिया रेडियो फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन ऑगस्ट द सीरीज इज बींग ब्रॉडकास्ट ऑन ऑल इंडिया रेडियो हंड्रेड पॉइंट वन एफ एम गोल्ड चैनल प्राइम टाइम न्यूज बुलेटिन एंड अक्रॉस ऑल इट्स प्लेटफॉर्म ट्यून इन टू स्टे अपडेटेड विद ऑल इंडिया रेडियो In today's episode we bring you landmarks of India's political journey. Growth of regional parties in the country in the states like Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra and West Bengal led to the strengthening of multi-party democracy in the country. In the second general elections held in the year 1957, Kerala elected the EMS Nambudripad led first communist government in the world. You see, I came to the communist movement through the anti-imperialist national movement. Within the Congress itself 
we were in the left and as leftist congressmen we organized ourselves first in the congress socialist party at that time the communist party was in existence at the all india level soon after rallies and demonstrations spearheaded by the then ruling party of the union government indian national congress against the government's educational policies took place throughout the state following the protests Nambudripad led communist government was dismissed under article 356 on 31st of July 1959 in 1967 DMK came to power defeating congress party under the leadership of CN Annadurai in Tamil Nadu professors and students they have very keen interest in asian problems and when they take keen interest in asian problems they pay special attention to india because they consider india to be the experiment station for democracy therefore they are interested in the success of democracy in india therefore they are very much interested to analyze our actions our activities and the results in 1977 aiadmk led by mg ramachandran came to power in tamil nadu mgr was the first actor to head a government in the world soon another actor nt ramarao formed a political outfit telugu desam party in andhra pradesh and came to power in 1983 defeating congress shri ramachandran has been my brother and my guru also as an artist not only he a colleague but now in the present life as a politician he has inspired me has shown me the real path of repaying the adoration and the support we got from the people as artists In Maharashtra, Shiv Sena led by Bal Thakre formed the first non-Congress government in 1995 in alliance with the Bharatiya Janata Party. I am aloof from all these things. I am not a, a, a getting a view to all this power politics. I don't want to occupy any chair. I don't want to uh, I don't want any position. The country also witnessed the emergence of parties like Shiromani Akali Dal, National Conference, Aham Gan Parishad, Mizo National Front, Nationalist Congress Party, Jharkhand Mukti Morcha, Rashtriya Janata Dal, Janata Dal United, Janata Dal Secular, Samajwadi Party, Trinamool Congress, YSR Congress, Telangana Rashtra Samiti and Aam Aadmi Party. आजाद भारत की बात आकाशवाणी के साथ कैन बी एक्सेस्ड ऑन एआईआर न्यूज अलर्ट्स ऑन ट्विटर न्यूज ऑन एआईआर ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल न्यूज ऑन एआईआर ऐप फेसबुक एंड इंस्टाग्राम हैंडल्स सो ट्यून इन टू ऑल इंडिया रेडियो न्यूज फॉर आजाद भारत की बात आकाशवाणी के साथ इन त्रिपुरा बीजेपी चीफ जेपी नड्डा सेड दैट विद द डबल इंजन गवर्नमेंट द स्टेट कुड हैव ब्रॉट ऑल राउंड डेवलपमेंट The party national president while addressing media in Agartala claimed that political violence has stopped in Tripura. He said cases related to violence against women have also decreased after the BJP came to power in the state when terrorist activities including extortion and distortion have been minimized in the state. For the empowerment of women the current government is providing 33% reservation to women in government services and focus has been given to boost self-help groups through upgradation and updation he said. Mr Nadda said that under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi the state has brought all round developments like in the fields of industry sports organic farming health tourism and others Tripura has also become the gateway to international transportation connectivity Tripura ki baat kare to sirf state connectivity hi nahi national connectivity hi nahi balki international connectivity ke taraf ek lambi chhalang Tripura state ne lagayi hai फिर चाहे हम कहें गेटवे टू साउथ ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज मैत्री सेतु कनेक्टिंग बांग्लादेश और इंडो बांग्लादेश रेलवे कनेक्टिविटी सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज सॉट अ रिस्पॉन्स फ्रॉम द कर्नाटका गवर्नमेंट ऑन प्लीज चैलेंजिंग द हाई कोर्ट्स वर्डिक्ट रिफ्यूजिंग टू लिफ्ट द बैन ऑन हिजाब इन एजुकेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ द स्टेट द कोर्ट ऑल्सो इशूड अ नोटिस इन द मैटर्स एज वेल एज ऑन द प्रेयर टू स्टेट दी एच सी जजमेंट The court turned down the request for more time and fixed the matter for a hearing on the 5th of September. On 15th of March, a full bench of the Karnataka High Court dismissed petitions filed by Muslim female students in Udupi seeking the right to wear hijab in classrooms. The High Court had earlier stated that wearing the hijab is not an essential religious practice in Islam and that freedom of religion under Article 25 of the Constitution is subject to reasonable restrictions. 
The High Court also upheld an order issued on the 5th of February by the state which suggested that wearing hijab can be restricted in government colleges where uniforms are prescribed and ruled that such curves under norms for college uniforms are constitutionally permissible. The American Space Agency is counting down to the liftoff of its giant new moon rocket, the Space Launch System. According to media reports, the 32-story tall two-stage Space Launch System SLS rocket and its Orion crew capsule are timed to go up from the Kennedy Space Center at 12.33 GMT today. SLS is the most powerful vehicle ever developed by NASA and will be the foundation of its Artemis project, which aims to put people back on the lunar surface after a 50-year absence. As per reports, this spacecraft will loop around the moon on a big arc before returning home to a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean in six weeks' time. SLS will be pulling 39.1 mega newtons of thrust off the pad. It is 15% more than the Saturn V rocket that sent the Apollo astronauts on their way to the moon in the 1960s and 70s. If the countdown clock is halted for any reason, NASA has set September the 2nd and September the 5th as backup launch dates. In Afghanistan, the ruling Taliban's acting defense minister, Minister Mullah Mohammad Yaqub, said on Sunday that Pakistan had allowed U.S. drones to use its airspace to access Afghanistan. Afghan's acting minister of defense said that American drones had been entering Afghanistan via Pakistan. He also said that the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan's IEA radar system was destroyed when the U.S. troops evacuated the country in August last year. However, Pakistani authorities have dismissed the claim. In Pakistan, the first aid flights began arriving from Turkey and the UAE on Sunday as the country struggled to deal with monsoon flooding that has affected more than 33 million people. The Pakistan government said that around more than 1,000 people have died since June when the seasonal rains began. However, according to media reports, the final toll could be higher as hundreds of villages in the mountainous north have been cut off by flood swollen rivers, washing away roads and bridges. At least 32 people were killed and 159 injured in clashes between the Libyan forces and armed groups yesterday. Armed groups had exchanged fire that damaged several hospitals and set buildings on fire. Six hospitals were hit and ambulances were unable to reach areas affected by the clashes. The two rival administrations are vying to control the North African country and its vast oil resources. The UN's Libya mission called for an immediate cessation of hostilities U.S. Ambassador to Libya Richard Norland said that Washington condemns the surge in violence, urging an immediate ceasefire and U.N. facilitated talks between the conflicting parties. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today greeted people on National Sports Day. He paid tributes to Major Dhyan Chand on his birth anniversary. In a tweet, Mr. Modi said the recent years have been great for sports. He hopes that this trend will continue. The Prime Minister also hoped that sports will keep gaining popularity across India. U.S. Open Tennis, the fourth and final Grand Slam of the year, will kick off in New York today. On day one, defending champion and top seed Daniel Medvedev will lock horns with local sensation Stefan Kozlov in the first round. Meanwhile, focus will also be on 23-time Grand Slam winner Serena Williams. After one of the greatest careers in tennis history, Serena Williams is expected to play in her final tournament at the U.S. Open. The 40-year-old won the first of her 23 major singles titles at the event in 1999, and now, 23 years after her Grand Slam breakthrough, it will come to an end. The Sensex and the Nifty today plunged more than 1% in afternoon trade. Both stock indices were trading down amid negative cues from global share markets. The Sensex was trading below 58,200 mark, while the Nifty was trading below the 17,400 level. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Health Minister Dr. Mansukh Mandavia urges pharma industries to focus on manufacturing of quality medicines and increase their accessibility in world market. Commerce and Industry Minister Piyush Goyal says One District, One Product program is aligned to the vision of a holistic coverage of entire nation, being participants and beneficiaries of development. Telecom and IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav says government is likely to introduce data protection bill in budget session of parliament. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal tables confidence motion on second day of Assembly special session. BJP alleges Delhi Chief Minister took no action on CVC inquiry report on construction of classrooms in government schools. Heavy rains lashed different parts of the country. Kerala reports loss of lives 
IMD issues orange alert for different districts in Uttarakhand. NASA is counting down to the liftoff of its giant new moon rocket Artemis 1. Youth Affairs and Sports Ministry is organizing Meet the Champion initiative in 26 schools across the country on occasion of National Sports Day, US Open Tennis, fourth and final Grand Slam of the year to kick off in New York today. And with that, we end the Midday News.